My name is Emily, and I have a story that will make your blood run cold, a tale of terror that unfolded right next door. It all started when the Thompsons moved into the house next door. At first, they seemed like any other ordinary family, friendly smiles, warm greetings, but soon, strange things began to happen. I first noticed it late one night when I heard muffled cries coming from their house. At first, I dismissed it as the sound of a television, but as the nights went on, the cries grew louder, more desperate. Curiosity got the better of me, and one evening, I decided to investigate. Sneaking over to their house under the cover of darkness, I peered through their windows, expecting to find nothing but the usual scene of domestic bliss. What I saw instead sent a chill down my spine. The Thompsons were gathered in the living room, their faces contorted in expressions of fear and anguish. But it wasn't them that scared me, it was what stood behind them. A shadowy figure, tall and imposing, loomed in the corner of the room, its eyes burning with a malevolent light. I watched in horror as it reached out towards the family, its twisted fingers stretching towards them like claws. I wanted to scream, to run away and never look back, but something held me rooted to the spot, a morbid fascination with the horrors unfolding before me. As the days turned into weeks, the strange occurrences only intensified. I would hear footsteps in the dead of night, whispers carried on the wind that seemed to speak of unspeakable things. And always, lurking in the shadows, was the figure watching, waiting. I tried to warn the Thompsons to tell them of the darkness that lurked within their own home, but they dismissed me as a madwoman, blinded by paranoia and fear. But then, one night, they disappeared without a trace. The police searched the house from top to bottom, but there was no sign of them, not a single clue to their whereabouts. And as I stand here now, staring at the empty house next door, I can't shake the feeling that whatever took the Thompsons is still out there, waiting for its next victim. And I pray to whatever gods may listen that it isn't me. My name is Sarah, and I have a story that will haunt me until the end of my days, a tale of terror that unfolded in the house next door. It all began innocently enough when the Johnsons moved in next door. A seemingly ordinary family, they greeted me with warm smiles and friendly waves, quickly becoming part of our tight-knit neighborhood community. But as the days turned into weeks, I began to notice strange occurrences emanating from their house, whispers that seemed to echo through the walls, faint and indistinct, yet filled with an unsettling sense of foreboding. At first, I brushed off the whispers as nothing more than the sounds of a busy household, the murmurs of conversation carried on the wind. But as time went on, they grew louder, more insistent, until they filled the air like a suffocating fog, seeping into every corner of my own home. Unable to ignore the unsettling atmosphere any longer, I ventured next door to confront the Johnsons, hoping to uncover the source of the whispers that had plagued my nights with sleepless terror. But when I knocked on their door, no one answered, not a single sound came from within. Undeterred, I pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind the eerie phenomenon that had taken root in our once peaceful neighborhood. Sneaking into the Johnsons' house under the cover of darkness, I crept through the silent halls, my heart pounding with a mixture of fear and anticipation. What I found inside will haunt me until the end of my days, a darkness that lurked in the shadows, a presence that seemed to watch my every move with eyes unseen. And amidst it all, the whispers grew louder, more insistent, until they filled my mind with visions of unspeakable horror. 
Fleeing the house in a panic, I sought solace in the safety of my own home, but the whispers followed me relentless in their pursuit. Night after night, I lay awake in bed, consumed by fear, as the voices whispered their sinister secrets into the darkness. But then, one fateful night, the whispers stopped, replaced by an eerie silence that hung heavy in the air like a shroud. And when I ventured next door to investigate, I found the Johnson's house empty, void of life, void of sound, as if it had never been inhabited at all. To this day, the whispers linger in the back of my mind, a constant reminder of the horrors that lurk just beyond the veil of reality. And as I gaze upon the empty house next door, I can't help but wonder what other terrors lie hidden within its walls, waiting to ensnare unsuspecting souls in their malevolent grasp. My name is Jacob, and I have a story that will send shivers down your spine, a chilling tale of the silent family that moved in next door. It began on a dreary afternoon when the Johnsons arrived in our quiet suburban neighborhood. From the moment they stepped out of their car, an air of unease settled over the street as if the very air itself held its breath in anticipation of the horrors to come. The Johnsons were a peculiar family rarely seen outside their house, their faces shrouded in perpetual shadow. They kept to themselves, avoiding contact with their neighbors as if afraid of what lurked beyond their own front door. But it wasn't their reclusive nature that sent alarm bells ringing in my mind. It was the silence that emanated from their house, a silence so profound that it seemed to swallow the very essence of sound itself. At first, I dismissed it as nothing more than the eccentricities of a peculiar family, but as the days turned into weeks, the silence grew oppressive, suffocating, like a weight pressing down upon my chest. Desperate for answers, I ventured next door to confront the Johnsons, but my knocks went unanswered, my calls ignored. It was as if they had vanished into thin air, leaving behind only an empty shell of a house, devoid of life and sound. But the silence that filled the air was not the only strange occurrence that plagued our neighborhood. Strange lights flickered in the windows at night, casting eerie shadows that danced along the walls like specters in the darkness. And then there were the whispers, faint and indistinct at first, but growing louder, more insistent with each passing night. They spoke of unspeakable horrors, of things that should not be spoken of in polite company, filling my mind with visions of madness and despair. Unable to bear the suffocating atmosphere any longer, I made the decision to leave the neighborhood behind to escape the silent family that haunted my every waking moment. But as I drove away, the whispers followed me, their voices echoing in the recesses of my mind like a never-ending nightmare. To this day, I cannot shake the feeling that the Johnsons are still out there, lurking in the shadows, their silent presence casting a pall over our once peaceful neighborhood. And as I gaze upon the empty house next door, I can't help but wonder what other horrors lie hidden within its walls, waiting to ensnare unsuspecting souls in their malevolent grasp. <laughs>